Welcome to my lecture online. Now that we have kind of an idea what complex numbers are, let's learn how to work with them. So first we're going to learn how to add and subtract complex numbers, and that's rather easy. Notice again that complex numbers have a real and an imaginary part. Now of course, they could have just the imaginary part, it's still a complex number. If there's not a real part, then could you still call it a complex number? Well, that's up to the definition. But what we need to do is, when we add or subtract complex numbers, we add or subtract the real part of the complex numbers, and then we add or subtract the imaginary parts separately. And so this is how it works. So we go a plus c, and that becomes the real part of the sum, plus, then we have the imaginary part, b plus d, multiplied times i. So this is the imaginary part of the sum and this is the real part of the sum. When we subtract, we do the same thing, but in this case, since we're subtracting, this becomes a minus c, which is the real part of the sum, or in this case of the difference, plus b, oh, and this should say d, that makes it a little bit better, let's call that a d. So here we have b minus d times i. This is the imaginary part of the difference. This is the real part of the difference. Now let's try some examples. So with real numbers, since we're adding, we add the real parts together. So this becomes 3 plus 2. And then we add to that 4 minus 5 times i. So when we combine that, we get 5 minus 1i. And if we subtract, we do the same thing, but in this case we subtract the real parts, so we get minus 2 minus 4 plus, and here we get 3 minus a minus 1 times i. So minus 2 minus 4, that's minus 6, which is the real part of the difference, and 3 minus a minus 1 becomes 3 plus 1, or plus 4 times i. And so that's how we add and subtract complex numbers.